Hey, welcome to this week's Power of Lights, Camera, Action. What's that make you think of? What's that bring to mind? I mean, usually that alerts us that something's about to happen. Something's going on. Somewhere something is happening. It's action. It's go time. Well, as we are coming in to the end of this year, to the closing, and we are in well into the final quarter of this year. It is time for action. It's time to take some action. It's time to think back to January 1st of this year and think about those resolutions or those goals that you made for this year, things that you wanted to accomplish this year. Did you get them done? Have you accomplished everything that you wanted to do, the goals that you set for yourself? If so, amazing. Congratulations. Isn't that an awesome feeling when you set a goal for yourself and you reach it and you accomplish it? Oh, it's just so awesome. It's so encouraging, inspiring, and it just spurs you on for the next thing. It really is amazing. But what if you haven't? What if there are some goals and some things that you set for yourself that you have not accomplished this year. And if you're like me, uh, you may have set very high goals and lofty expectations of yourself, and not all of that has happened. And that's okay, because there's a balance there. But are you taking steps to move yourself towards those goals, even if they aren't officially completely gonna be accomplished by the end of this year. Have you done what's needed to get you closer to them so that you are that much closer to your goals or not? And if not, why not? What's stopping you from taking the steps to get to that goal that you set for this year? What's holding you back? Take a few minutes and just think about it. Think about why have you not taken the steps that you need to take to get you to that goal that you wanted to accomplish this year? Is it fear of failure? Is it fear of what other people might say? Is it laziness? Is it apathy? You just don't care anymore? You've just given up and you just don't care? What is it? What is it that is stopping you from reaching those goals? And when you figure that out, address it. Take responsibility, recognize that that is the thing that's stopping you, and then figure out how to get over that. That's just a hump in the road. It's just a bump. It's just something that you just need to get over, and it's going to make you that much stronger to get you to your goals. So figure out how to get over it. You know, watch three YouTube videos every day of how to get over that, whatever obstacle it is that you've set there for yourself, the fear of failure or whatever it is. Uh, read every book that you can get your hands on how to get over that uh, and how to accomplish that goal. You know, you probably live near a library. Um, get your hands on every podcast. Listen to every podcast that you can in regards to that. You know, these are all free, easy ways that you can learn how to get over that hump and reach your goals. Only you can make this happen. And if your why is big enough, then you're going to find a way to make it happen. You are going to take the steps that are required to get you to that goal if you really want it. If you have that why deep down inside of you and you know why you want to get that goal accomplished, then you'll do what it takes to get yourself there. Only you can make it happen. This is up to you. It's not too late. We're, you know, we have about two more months left, 60 more days at least. And even if you know that it's, you're not going to reach that goal completely by the end of this year, that's okay. But just start taking the steps to get you towards that. And imagine, you can accomplish a lot in 60 days. Imagine what it's going to be like going into the new year, even if you haven't accomplished that goal. I mean, if you have accomplished it, you're just going to be that much more uh, energized and pumped and ready to accomplish even more in the new year. But if you haven't accomplished it, don't give up. Take the steps towards those goals. Take the steps towards that to get you there. 
because when you are going into the new year that much closer to your goals, knowing that you finished strong and you did what it took to get you this much closer to your goals, you are just going to be that much more empowered and fired up to accomplish even more in the next year. And if you haven't accomplished exactly everything you want to this year, you're just going fired up all strong and powerful into the new year and you will for sure accomplish it in the new year. So don't give up. Now's the time for the final push. When an athlete sees the finish line, they don't slow down. That's when you get the final pump, the final energy, the excitement, the enthusiasm, knowing it's right there. It's within your vision, your sight. It's so exciting. You know, I've only done a few runs, but when I have, uh, and the crowd is there, and we're all running together to the finish line, it's so exciting because that's when you just get this rush of adrenaline and you just get this final push. It's exciting. Well, I want to help you have that final push. Pump yourself up. Get ready. This is it. This is the final push for this year. And you can. You can accomplish your goals. And if they're too big to completely accomplish, you can move yourself so much closer to those goals than you already are because you have two full months to get yourself there. This is the last quarter. This is it. We are in it. It's time for the final push. It's not too late. I encourage you. We can see the finish line. It's right there. This is it. The final push. Do something every day that's going to get you closer to that goal. Thanks for watching and now go do something today to get you to that goal so that you finish this year strong.